Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching Inglorious Bastards. So, um, I mean, uh, the title's already kind of exciting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, we're going to be watching Tarantino, which is great. Uh, Tarantino's one of my favorite movie directors of all time. Uh, we've been holding off on doing some of the more like movie movies, you know, Tarantino, Scorsese, stuff like that. So I think we're going to be doing a lot more of that. This is, uh, you know what, actually... The less I tell you about this movie, the better. Um, I have seen this movie. You've never seen this movie. Uh, I'm really excited. It's got some faces you're going to recognize. Brad Pitt, Christoph Waltz, a few other people like that. So super exciting. It's just going to be great. I, I want to get straight into it. Like I said, the less you know, the better. Um, as of as full-length rations up the Patreon, the next week's reaction, uh, another Tarantino movie or or something. I don't Really let us know if you guys want us to continue Tarantino. Uh, but this movie here is up for early access as well as everything else we do on the channel. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, obviously, you don't have to. Uh, really, just thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And let's just get into Inglorious Bastards. This man and his music choices are just so incredible. So you, we were talking about before, and you said that this is in World War II, right? But yeah. it's not like based on it, like it may factual... or may not be historically accurate. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It's so cool. No, yeah. I actually like. I kind of like that type. Of stuff. Oh, Michael Fa uh, uh, Magneto, the guy who plays young Magneto. Oh, okay. He's in this movie. It was such an underrated actor, by the way. Nobody. I'm mostly interested in um, what's his name, uh, the the guy from Bond, Christoph Waltz. Christoph. Yeah, Waltz. because you only saw him as Blofeld, which. Uh, that really doesn't do the man justice. He's a great actor. Yeah, it just wasn't my... I don't know. He was a I, lot better in the in No Time to Die. Yeah, I still wasn't feeling it as much. So I, I'm very curious. I'm going to make a guess that he's one of the bad guys. I don't know. He just feels like a baddie. I, I mean, already this feel is so different, right? Like, like. Oh, yeah. Like, nobody. Very, people don't make movies like this. It like, kind of feels older. But it's not. But it's like, it also <laughs> feels different. <laughs> Give me some fairy tale vibes. I, it, uh, it's going to give you all sorts of amazing vibes. Didn't he do that in another movie too? Chapter one? Yeah, I feel like- in, He does that um, in a lot of his movies, he does. In Kill Bill, which is the only other movie yeah, Kill we've Bill. watched, he did a chapter, yeah. 1941. Mm -hmm. So stuff's already going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer, Monsieur Lapadit. Je suis le colonel SS Hans Landa. Oh, as your answer, whether he's a bad guy or not. <laughs> yep. He's he is German, so I was gonna say like <laughs> yeah, he's a German actor, so but I wasn't sure, you know, like what you know. Colonel SS Hans Landa, Mademoiselle. That's the girl from Bond, bro. Yeah, what is this crossover? Je vous demande la permission de passer à l'anglais pour le reste de la conversation. Certainement. <laughs> Are you aware of my existence? Yes. I feel like he is. Yeah. Yeah. If you can assist me with answers, my department can close a file on your family. The way he moves, everything is so, like, in character. All the Jewish families in this area have been accounted for, except yeah. the Dreyfus's. Mm -hmm. What have you heard about the Dreyfus's, Monsieur Lapadit? Only rumors. I love rumors. <laughs> what rumors have you heard regarding the Dreyfus's? I feel like, is that a bad call? Is he telling the truth or is he bluffing with the rumors thing? I don't know. Uh... This is just a rumor, but uh, we heard. I feel like the that's a lie that he heard this. Had made their way into Spain. Yeah. I feel like you always got to be careful about going extra. Of course. You know? So the rumors you've heard have been of escape. We. Oui. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, and they're definitely not here, right? <laughs> yeah. Would you confirm for me the exact members of the household and their names? Could you? Uh, I feel, yeah, you would be careful. I don't know here. if I would, but maybe they're just more neighborly back then. Jacob, Miaya, and her brother, Bob. 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 Um, How old is Bob? 30, 31. You want to be cooperative, though, too, right? Like, yeah, like, but, like it's that balance. And the children, Amos. You don't want to like overdo it to where, because I feel like that, that mm. saying that they escaped is like so. Uh, <laughs> Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> but you're aware of what they call me. That they call you the Jolanta? Precisely. Well, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of generic. Isn't that, <laughs> isn't, isn't that very... I'm aware of what tremendous feats human beings are capable of once they abandon dignity. May I smoke my pipe as well? Uh, please, uh, go make yourself at home. It's not to break the fourth wall, but it's so well written. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that pipe, bro. 
goodness. Any information that makes a performance of my duties, yeah, will not be met with punishment. Could you even believe that? Yeah. But at the same time, I'd be, I'd be terrified, so. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Oh, no. He got to him with that line, man. Yes. Yeah. You're sheltering them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? Yes. Point out to me the areas where they're hiding. <sighs> so horrible. Since I haven't heard any disturbance, I assume while they're listening, they don't speak English. Yeah, because I mm, really yeah, would think yeah, that yeah, they that's would. Why he... I'm to switch back to French now, and I want you to follow my masquerade as clear. Yes. Oh, man. Il me semble que nous en avons terminé. Ah, mesdames! Yeah. Oh, no. Nous ne vivrons pas votre famille plus longtemps. Oh, so horrible. Adieu. Uh -oh. <sighs> That's a beautiful shot. Oh, God. That's so far. Interesting. Welcome to this masterpiece. My name is Lieutenant Aldo Rain. <laughs> Oh, hey. <laughs> Eight Jewish American soldiers. Now, y'all might have heard rumors about the Armada happening soon. Well, we'll be leaving a little earlier. <laughs> We're going to be doing one thing and one thing only, killing Nazis. <laughs> Already. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. <laughs> Agreed. When the German closes their eyes at night and they're tortured by their subconscious for the evil they have done, it will be with thoughts of us that they are tortured with. <laughs> Sound good? Yes, sir! That's what I like to hear. Hardcore. <laughs> this guy's no nonsense. Not just no nonsense. He's going farther than that. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. 100? <laughs> That's a lot. I don't think he's being hyperbolic. Yeah, that is. Well, it seems like it's working. Well, they're definitely doing their job. Oh yeah, because it's it's getting to the high the oh, higher ups, you yeah. know. Oh man. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. Still, a hundred is gonna be rough. Hey, they're doing that. <laughs> they're getting to work. That's for sure. Was my man holding an MG42? Yes. <laughs> Dang. I like how the music almost sounds like a Western too, actually. Yeah, it kind of does. It's like his Tarantino just can't help but be a little Western in all his movies. Wiki Air, an Austrian Jew. Sergeant Hugo Stiglitz. Heard of him? Everybody in the German army's heard of Hugo Stiglitz. <laughs> what is this? As a German enlisted man, he killed 13 Jeez. Gestapo officers. <laughs> oh, jeez. The high command decided to send him back to Berlin to be made an example of. Once the bastards heard about him, we got him out. He never got there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, baby. Bastards are getting it done. Such an interesting uh, vibe. I think you show great talent. But your status in the Nazi killers is still amateur. We all come here to see if you want to go pro. <laughs> 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 and I assume I you know who we are. <laughs> it's such a like almost comedy vibe insanity to it. Yeah. We ain't in the prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin businesses are booming. <laughs> you gotta tell me how many they are, and you gotta tell me what kind of artillery they're carrying with them. They can't expect me to divulge information that would put German lives in danger. Well, it's either that or your life in danger, bro. Well, I mean it depends on how Sergeant Donnie Donowitz, the bear Jew. He's gonna take that big bat of his and he's gonna beat your ass to death with it. Yeah, I mean. I'll take your wiener snitch so they can finger and point out on this map what I wanna know. Fuck you. Shh. And your Jew dogs. Jeez. Donnie. It's just so well done. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, bro, I'd be scared of this guy. Damn it, Hirschberg. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't want that. Two hits, I hit you, you hit the ground. Ask him if he wants to live. There's some living blood. Yeah, sir. Tell him to point out on this map the German <laughs> Yeah, that's position. the other benefit of having him do that, is that everybody's open to talking. Ask him how many Germans. We feel a Deutsche. It's going to be sign. Around about 12. This is so cool. Wie haben Sie diese Tortur denn überlebt? Sie haben mich gehen lassen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the guy. We let you live so you could spread the word through the ranks what's going to happen to every Nazi we find. Sie werden kein Wort darüber verlieren. Kein einziger Städtteil. I like how that's like, that would be like the cliche thing to do is to like let him go because of that. And so I like how yeah. that's like the supposed reason, but that's not the actual reason. Yeah, that, that's interesting. We like our Nazis in uniforms. That way you can spot them. So I'm gonna give you this something you can't take off. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Yeah, they're beyond hardcore. No, definitely. They're definitely <laughs> they're definitely in the range of very messed up. Why well, you get to Carnegie Hall, don't you? Practice. <laughs> His choice of what to show and what not to show though is very interesting. Like Tarantino. Because like he has no problem showing violence. Yeah, I I'm not sure, like even not showing that. Like I feel like I feel like you very well could have. Yeah, but I think it's interesting that he didn't. And I like that he didn't. It makes it just feel different. Yeah, but he's not, he's not afraid to show gruesomeness for gruesomeness sake. That's what I'm saying. It's like a purely artistic choice. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a à partir de demain? Un festival Max Lander. J'ai toujours préféré Lander à Chaplin. I don't even know if I know who that is. I know Chaplin. I don't know Max Lander. I'm exposing myself here. Il est à vous? Oui. Comment se fait-il qu'une jeune fille comme vous possède un cinéma? Yeah, I mean. Ma tante me l'a cédé. C'est agréable de voir une jeune française admiratrice de Riefenstahl. Admiratrice n'est pas vraiment le mot que j'utiliserais pour décrire mes sentiments vis-à-vis -vis de Fräulein Riefenstahl. Yeah, it's like she doesn't have a choice, man. Puis je vous demander votre nom? Vous voulez voir mes papiers? Hmm. Emmanuel Mimieux, c'est un très joli nom. Mademoiselle, je me présente, Frédéric Zola. <laughs> Is that supposed to mean something? C'était un plaisir de discuter avec une consoeur cinéphile. Beau rêve, mademoiselle. I mean, good on him for knowing when to... <laughs> That's such an interesting interaction, oh. though. How so? I just just like him kind of like flirting and stuff, and then her, like, you know, obviously we know her history, right? And just seeing, I don't know. Yeah, well, it also shows, like... I, I just like that we see stuff like that. <laughs> you were saying he knows when to... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, no, but still, he kind of does, because he, he stopped at there, right, for that night. Je ne sais pas votre ami. Pourquoi? Yeah, maybe you're just a famous uniform. I mean. Vous êtes le fils de quelqu'un? La plupart des soldats allemands sont fils de quelqu'un. Oh my God! <laughs> what the? Uh, why is he like a? He feels like a celebrity he, or something. He, yeah. Hello, 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 Frédéric Zola. She's like, what is happening? No, 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 no. Mademoiselle n'est pas ma petite amie. So he did something. Yeah. Right? Some sort of. Moi tout seul et un millier de munitions dans un perchoir face à 300 soldats ennemis. Was it actually 300? <laughs> Can we trust that? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Combien vous en avez tué? 68, le premier jour. Jeez. 150. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. Is that true? 32 le troisième jour. He's got a story down. Naturellement, mon histoire de guerre a attiré beaucoup d'attention en Allemagne. C'est pour ça que tous me reconnaissent. Yeah. I mean, it seems reasonable enough. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's still, it's not like so crazy where it's like completely ridiculous. It's pretty it's still crazy. crazy. 60, like, that's some of the best sniping la in the world. La Et je le donne en mille, ils ont voulu que j'ai interprète mon propre rôle. Bonne chance pour la première, celle-là. J'espère que tout ira bien pour Joseph et vous-même. Yeah, I mean, understandably. Mademoiselle uh Oh. Oui? I love this piece of music. Votre cinéma? Oui. Des gens uh oh, did they like, did he say something? I, I'm not sure if he said something. Jeez. Why was he looking around? I don't know. Amerikanisches Olympiagold. Lässt sich mit Negerschweiß aufwiegen. Jeez. 
Number two, man. <laughs> oh, he invited her. Mm. Invited? Pas sûr que vous mon that wasn't really an option. Emmanuel Mimieux. J'aimerais vous présenter au ministre de la propagande. Mm. Yeah, this it feels very like sus. Yeah. Dr. Yusuf Goebbels, l'interprète française de Dr. Goebbels, Mademoiselle Francesca Mondino. Bonjour. Goodness. Yeah. Et vous avez rencontré le Sturmbannführer? Ja, yeah, aber ich habe mich noch gar nicht vorgestellt. Sturmbannführer Dieter Hellström ist da. Yeah. Zu so, ihren Diensten, Mademoiselle. This is like the super high ups, like. Yeah. Er ist zum gesellschaftlichen Ereignis von Paris geworden. Und jetzt muss er Zeit für mich einräumen. I'm starting to doubt, like, yeah, really doubt, like, if any of his stuff is real. Yeah. Maybe I mean, even, like, I'm also thinking, like, could she utilize this opportunity to, like, do something, you know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this maybe could be an opportunity blöd, because th these are, like, very high up. You know, a little, little bit high up. Yeah, for her to do something. Yeah. Bitte nehmen Sie zur Kenntnis. Ich habe einem Wechsel des Veranstaltungsortes nicht zugestimmt. Sie haben Lotion? Oui. Wie viele? Combien? Deux? Zwei? Mehr wäre besser. Well, yeah. Okay, like, but it's, none of this is her call. Combien de places dans la salle? 350. Das sind fast 400 weniger als im Ritz. Dieser Abend ist für Sie gedacht. Für mich. Für das deutsche Militär. Wie sehr hat sich Ihr öffentliches Reden verbessert? <laughs> Bescheidlich habe ein Monstrum geschaffen. Ein überaus überzeugendes Monstrum. I'm surprised that's uh, what persuaded you, but okay. Yeah. Muss ich mir doch zunächst mal im Kino der jungen Frau einen Film ansehen, bevor ich ja oder nein. This is poor girl. Ah, Landa, da sind sie ja. Wait. Emmanuel, voici le colonel de Oh, what the? Oh, no. It's the higher ups, I mean. Sklaventreiberin, ne? Französische Sklaventreiberin. <laughs> oh, what? Does he know? Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, we, we never know if he knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm always like. What He's always. Comment se fait-il que le jeune soldat et vous ayez fait connaissance? Deux strudels, un pour moi et un pour la demoiselle. Oh my goodness. I feel like he like it. it gosh, I don't it's like, it's like him. The same thing all over again. The other people seem a lot more like not like thinking or yeah, something. Yeah, he seems so like, huh? I know who you are, but yeah. I'm just gonna draw it out. And that he likes drawing it out. Yeah, or something. Expliquez-moi, comment se fait-il qu'une jeune femme comme vous en arrive à posséder un cinéma? Did her aunt really give it to her? I'm worried about that. I feel like no or something. Yeah. Because, like, in some way, he's he's okay. trying to find cracks or something, Well, and right? it is a little weird. Anybody would ask that. Even outside of this context, it is a little bit like, oh, my gosh, you own a cinema? How the heck did that happen? Yeah, she's very young and stuff, so. You begin to explain the origin of your possession of cinema. The origin of the cinema was to my aunt. Is that true? Hmm. I was signaled that you were a nerd. C'est un français, il s'appelle Marcel, il a travaillé avec mon nom, ma tante et mon oncle depuis l'ouverture du cinéma. Ok. C'est la seule personne qui travaille avec moi. Faire quoi Projectionniste. Savez-vous faire marcher un projecteur Bien sûr. Connaissant le ministre du Reich comme je le connais. Yeah, they're gonna get, they're gonna get rid of Marcel. Il ne voudrait pas que la réussite yeah. de l'échec yeah. de son égout ce soir. We we'll make her do it. Dépend de la prouesse d'un nerf. C'est vous qui actionnerez les projecteurs. C'est acceptable it's interesting how he is more i don't know how to explain it exactly like the way he goes about it is like just this is how it is yeah feel yeah, like, rather than being um he's in part control. of the cult he's, he's completely in control well, yeah but I, I mean i'll talk about it more after i guess <laughs> Stop playing, like. oh my gosh this is what Careful, careful. Jeez. I, I love that little moment though. It's so human. Yeah. And that would be so traumatic. Putain, on est censé faire quoi là? Apparemment, on est censé accueillir une première nazi. Yeah. I mean, like, what can we do, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything you can do. De remplir le cinéma de nazi et le détruire par le feu. Huh. That's crazy. Oui, Shoshana, nous pourrions. Et avec la collection Maybe. de 350 films nitrate de yeah, l'ennemi mieux, it... oh. on n'aurait même pas besoin d'explosifs. That's true. Shoshana has a collection of over 350 nitrate film prints. So you basically got all your fuel. Oh yeah, and it's totally undercover. It's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Est-ce que le matériel de tournage du grenier fonctionne encore? Pourquoi avons-nous besoin de matériel de tournage? Parce que Marcel, mon cher, 
Nous allons faire un film. Yeah. Hmm. Uniquement pour les nazis. I mean, like you said. You know. Your occupation before the war? I'm a film critic. Down with Hitler. All the way down, so. <laughs> It's interesting how they're going to different plot lines and things like that. Goebbels considers the films he's making to be the beginning of a new era in German cinema. I didn't realize Goebbels made. At this point in time, I'd like to brief you on Operation Keen Air. Three days from now, Joseph Goebbels is throwing a gala premiere for one of his new okay, movies. Okay, so that's how we're... Are we all going to meet up or something? This Maybe. is interesting. In attendance will be Goebbels, Goering, Bormann, and most of the German high command. Dang. Wait, this is actually if she burns this thing yeah. down successfully. An American Secret Service ad would be your assist. The Germans call them the bastards. I think they call themselves the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Does Bridget von Hammersmark? Bridget von Hammersmark? A German movie star is working for England. One could even say that Operation Kino was her brainchild. Wow. Oh, Got the... the gist? I think so, sir. Paris when it sizzles. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the way writing. you just, bro. I love you didn't the say freaking the writing. Damn rendezvous in a fucking basement. <laughs> you said it was in a tavern. It is a tavern. Yeah, in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know exactly who you're dealing with? Probably not. Is that his um his knife that he kept? Maybe. Right from Stiglitz, right? Things prove eventful. I need to know we can all remain calm. Hmm. And I'll come to you. <laughs> How did you put it like that? I guess you do. Yeah, he does look calm. He looks scary calm. It's just like he could calmly blow the. Yeah. But I mean, I'd rather have these guys than like incompetent fools. I'll say that. No, obvious. Yeah. Frau von Hammersmark's cover is compromised. Mission is kaput. Speaking of Frau von Hammersmark, <laughs> the busted exit. She wasn't picking a place to fight. She was picking a place isolated and without Germans. Why did we cut mm. to this? What happened? Oh, that's. Oh oh. Wait, who's that guy in the? Is that? Yeah, it's one of our guys. Yeah, I know the two front people. Was that? Yeah, this is. It's an issue though. Und sein vorgesetzter Offizier hat ihm und seinen Freunden. Of course, it's some random. Of course. Like, why does it always happen? It's like great. It never goes well. Sich was Neues ergeben. Das Kino ist ausgetauscht worden. Oh, oh they don't right. know that. Okay, so that's not part of the. Das neue Kino oh, gosh. ist wesentlich kleiner als das Ritz. Welchen Sprengstoff ihr alles für das Ritz mitgebracht habt, müsste dort doppelte Wirkung haben. Oh, we don't need explosives. See, this is the problem, though. I, I, I'm worried that. Our plans are gonna. Würden, würden Sie meinem Sohn zum Geburtstag ein Autogramm geben? Der Name ist Maximilian. Ich hebe mein Glas auf die Größte! I'm so worried about the. The one dude? Yeah. Los, 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 los. Gosh, they're really out of it. Yeah. Ich schlage vor, dass Sie das Fräulein nicht weiter belästigen und an Ihren Tisch zurückkehren. Sturmführer, Sie haben ein sehr ungewöhnliches. Oh, oh my gosh! Woher kommen Sie? Sie müssen entweder betrunken sein oder völlig verrückt, dass Sie es wagen, mit einem Vorgesetzten so unverschämt zu sprechen. Well, can't you just say he was from like. Sie greifen jetzt Ihren Freund! No, oder wird Max ersten Geburtstag wegen Trunkenheit in der Öffentlichkeit? Dürfte ich mich vielleicht erkundigen? Oh. Uh, wait. Where would this guy come from? Just sitting in the corner. What? Look at that guy's absurdly large glass of beer. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> what? This is kind of unheard of, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we didn't, like. Wie unser frisch gebackener Vater hier, hab auch ich ein sehr genaues Ohr für Akzent. Oh, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, how good is his accent? He should have To, the like, other the German guys. speakers. Woher stammen Sie, Hauptsturmführer? Sturmführer, ich finde es höchst. Ich habe nicht mit Ihnen gesprochen, Obersturmführer München. Und auch nicht mit Ihnen, Obersturmführer Frankfurt. Oh, he's been listening the whole time. Ich spreche mit dem Hauptsturmführer Heimatlos hier. You guys better have some sort of story, bro. Ich bin in einem Dorf geboren, das im Schatten des Pitz Palüli. Haben Sie den Riefenstahl-Film gesehen? Ja. Yeah. Dann haben Sie mich gesehen. Hm. Good cover. Okay, okay, okay. Ich kann mich voll und ganz dafür verbürgen, was der junge Hauptmann hier behauptet. Er stammt wirklich vom Fuße des Pitz Palü. 
And maybe that's why they're friends, you know? Yeah, it, it all lines up the whole yeah, movie yeah, business, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Every wow. time, bro. Was tun Sie hier? Oh, do you have a story, please? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was going to say, like, jeden, der es wert ist. Spaß beiseite, was tun Sie in Frankreich? Ich begleite die Dame zum Minister Goebbels Filmpremiere. Okay. Sie sind der Begleiter von Fräulein von Okay, that's good, because maybe you came out. You yeah, 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 yeah. Der Hauptmann ist mein Begleiter, aber alle drei sind meine Gäste. Wir sind alte Freunde. Wir kennen uns schon seit... From where? Be careful, be careful. Don't go so hard. Sorry, I just, I'm so worried. I, I really don't want this to, like... Ich muss schon sagen, was die da drüben spielen, das scheint mir sehr amüsant zu sein. Wie wär's, wir spielen es auch? Ja, gerne. Oh, great. Shoot. Did we have to agree to that? Maybe we had yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, but I feel like we're really, like, this is not going well. Like, we're... We're stretching it. Die Idee des Spiels ist no, es, it's, it's, den Namen einer berühmten Person auf eine Karte zu schreiben. No, it's the it's the whatever game, right? The but they were playing over there, yeah. Yeah, so like does he know? Right? Like how how good is his like knowledge of certain things? Well, he knows a lot of movie stuff. That's true. Sie nehmen die Karte auf, ohne sie umzudrehen, befeuchten sie mit der Zunge und kleben sie sich vorne an die Stirn. Oh shoot. Oh, oh shoot. Huh. <laughs> Bro, no way you're gonna guess this. Yeah, this is hard. Ich folge meinem ersten Impuls und frage, komme ich aus dem Urwald? Yeah. The heck? Also dann muss ich King Kong sein. Also wer ist der nächste? Wir vier sind sehr gute. Shoot, this is a dangerous play. Not as dangerous as you mean to keep also, going. Sturmbahnführer. Maybe. Ich fürchte. Uh. Sie stören. Oh man. Dang. Aber nur, wenn das Fräulein hier meine Gegenwart als Störung empfindet, bin ich auch ein Störenfried. Uh. Ist das Fräulein von Hamas Mark, störe ich sie? Nein. What do you say? No. Dang, bro! Now you've made an enemy. Even if yeah, you were German, was, now you like, pissed him off. Yeah, gosh darn it. Because now he's going to be determined to like... <laughs> das war ein Scherz. Okay. No, you're not. Nein, natürlich störe ich. Natürlich stehe ich. Meine Herrschaften, gestatten Sie, dass ich Ihnen nachschenke und dann werde ich Ihnen okay. und Fräulein adieu sagen. Hey, it feels okay. like these like stupid social games. Drei Gläser. Did he notice something about his hand? Mm. Seems like something happened. Yeah, it seems like he noticed. He seems a little bit off. Ich muss sagen, ich habe genug von dem Affentheater. Mm. Haben Sie das gehört? Mm -mm. Das ist das Geräusch meiner Walter, yeah. die direkt auf Ihre Hoden gerichtet ist. Weil Sie sich eben verraten haben. Hauptsturmführer. Sie sind so deutsch wie dieser Scotch. Yeah, but... Is it double barrel? For who? Yeah, I don't know. Also Sturmbahnführer. Ja, Schnauze, du Schlappe. Sie wollten was sagen? Ich wollte sagen, dann sind wir zu zweit. <lacht> Und dann jetzt sind wir zu dritt. Und auf die Entfernung bin ich ein richtiger Frederik Zoller. <laughs> Scheint mir ein bisschen heikel zu sein, unsere Lage. Was jetzt passieren wird, Sturm. Yeah, dude, Bahn, you, you lose. Well, I, I'm, I'm worried Sie about the bar. The bar, the bar of tender diese Tür hinausgehen. Which side he's on? Das ist wirklich schade um Oberfeldwebel Wilhelm und seine berühmten Freunde. Falls einer von euch vorhat, am Leben zu bleiben, werdet ihr sie auch erschießen müssen. Hmm. Well, if this is it, old boy, I hope you don't mind if I go out speaking to kings. <laughs> would appear there's only one thing that few do. And what would that be? Stiglitz. Say auf Wiedersehen to your Nazi boss. Oh, jeez. Jeez. That's like everybody. That is everybody. Dang, that's everybody. Oh, gosh. Come outside, who are you? British, American? We're American. <laughs> is there anybody alive on our side? No. I'm alive. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, don't shoot her. Is the girl on your side? Which girl? Who do you think? She's been shot, but she's alive. Where did she get shot? Is she died. Uh, uh, maybe in. You let me and one of my men come down there and take the girl away. You go your way, we go ours. Yeah, I mean. I'm gonna trust you. Come down. I feel like he actually does. I love the shots on the feet and stuff, and the lighting. Just take that fucking traitor and get her out of my sight. Yep. <laughs> Oh. oh. Now before we yank that slug out, you, uh, you need to answer a few questions. Yeah. She's about right. About I got three men dead back yeah. there. 
I, that's on her. That is. The British officer blew his German egg on a Gestapo major sword. Why was there? Before we get into who shot John, why'd you invite my men to a rendezvous in a basement? Yeah, yeah. Nazis? I thought that was a terrible call. I can see since you didn't see what happened inside that the Nazis being there must look odd. That is true. Yeah, we got word for that kind of odd in English. It's called suspicious. <laughs> yes. Ah! You're letting your imagination get the better of you! Ah! Oh, jeez, man. He ordered three glasses. We order three glasses. Yes. That's the German three. Isn't that such a cool detail? Yeah, I was wondering if it was like that. Germans would and did notice it. <laughs> That's a good thing to know. Okay, let's pretend there were no Germans. What was the next step? Tuxedos going as members of the German film industry. You still get us in that premiere? You speak German better than your friends? Hmm. <laughs> I don't see me tripping the light fantastique up a red carpet anytime soon. We stop all about tomorrow night. Jeez, I didn't realize it was that soon. That's something you don't know. There have been two recent developments. Yeah. Yeah. The venue has been changed from the Ritz to a much smaller venue. Der Führer is attending the <laughs> Wait, what? What are you thinking? It's a smaller place, so maybe I'm we can thinking getting a whack plant old Uncle Adolf <laughs> makes his horse a different color. Fill you up with more pink tails coming out your ears. No. Your little ass up that rouge carpet. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna be good though. This is so like... Can you Americans speak? Any other language than English. We both speak a little Italian. Uh, that doesn't exactly kill us in the crib. Uh, it does. Germans mean. don't have a good ear for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it would be better than English, right? That's Wouldn't true. It? That's true. And definitely better than German. A mom will Italian and brazen through it. Is that the plan? That's about it. That sounds good. That's a very bastard's plan. Donovan speaks second most, so he'll be your Italian cameraman. Omar, third most, so he'll be Donnie's assistant. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Like I said, third best. <laughs> Just don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, this guy. Yeah, I forgot this he's guy. still here. He's a bekannter für deutsche Uniformen anzuziehen, um Einheiten in Hinterhalt zu locken. Dang. Was bringt euch den weiten Weg bis hier aus? I love the editing. Yeah. And it begs the question, where are the rest of the bastards? Yeah, and what is going on yeah. here, right? They're, they're clearly it's super up to something. Sus. Oh, I feel like, ah, oh, shoot, we didn't do any cleanup. No. Oh, no, because that's so bad. Oh, no, what are we doing? Uh, dang it, that's so bad. So much of it. Because now she's going as herself, right? So then yep. they're, they're just going to get her. Oh, no. <laughs> I love the chapter names. Revenge of the Giant Face. Also, is that not just a beautiful shot? That is a beautiful shot. That's yeah. just gorgeous. Yeah, and there's still this whole plan. Yeah, I wonder I wonder how this is gonna go, because like I mean we both have the same goal, kind of. Yeah, but but no one knows. Weirdly, it's better that the bastards are going though, because it matches more of the all-out style of her plan than than this like incognito. Like the chances of it being messed up are a lot smaller. Yeah. Since I feel like the bastards are kind of just like, yeah, we know this is not a great idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> That's how they used to edit stuff, dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is crazy. I like how you see Tarantino's love of film mixed into this German mm -hmm. war movie. It's sick. <laughs> Where's our boys? That's not our boys. <laughs> I mean, if anyone's going to catch on, it's going to be him. Uh, of course. I mean, if there's like Hitler Youth there. Oh my gosh. Also, what is with your wonderful bein geschehen? Yeah, I have mich. Dummerweise, muss ich eingestehen. Im Bergsteigen versucht. <laughs> uh, that sounds so ridiculous. Yeah, I also feel like this guy, while it seems like just, you know. He's just toying talk. with her. <laughs> he's actually like interrogating, you know, every time I feel. I feel like he's just having fun. Well, yeah, but I think he's trying to figure it out. Jetzt bin ich aber neugierig, was könnte sie zu einem dermaßen tollkühnen Unterfangen getrieben haben? His face. <laughs> he just looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> the other guy's like. <laughs> Wann haben sie denn diesen Berg bestiegen gestern Nacht? Mm. Ah, that's what es you're gonna go with? Und wo genau in Paris ist dieser Berg? Yeah, see, he's, he always just interrogates. <laughs> ich mach doch nur Scherze. No, he's not. But he never pushes them too far because he knows that too. Wer sind denn ihre drei Fashion-Begleiter? 
Ich befürchte, dass keiner von Ihnen ein einziges Wort Deutsch spricht. That's so suspicious. Dies hier ist der hervorragende Sensationsdarsteller Enzo Gorlong. Ein sehr talentierter Kameramann, Antonio Margheriti und Antonios Kameraassistent Dominique de Coco. <laughs> Buongiorno. Signore in Uh, that's like me speaking Italian. Gli amici della vedetta ammirata da tutti noi questa gemma propria della nostra cultura saranno naturalmente accolti sotto la mia protezione per la durata del loro. Uh oh, we're screwed. Grazie. Lo pronuncio correttamente? Sì, corretto. Corretto. Is that real? Per cortesia, me lo ripeti ancora. Gorlami. Come si chiama lei? Oh no! Antonio Margareti. Ancora? Margareti. Uh, it just sounds like... He sounds better than Brad. Dominic De Coco. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> he passed fast. Arrivederci. 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 <laughs> Dude, I think he totally lied about being the best at Italian. Arrivederci. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and why did he just let him in? Can you imagine, bro? I'd be freaking. What exactly is our plan? Like, how, how are we gonna... Uh, they said something about explosives. Yeah, I'm just wondering. We're not gonna have those on us. Aha! Oh, word. Faut que je descende sympathiser avec les cheveux. Notre fille m'arrive à la quatrième bobine. Tu mets le feu. Dang. <laughs> oh shoot, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, bro. So schnell, Hermann. Ein Glas Champagner. Gosh. Auf den Stolz der Nation. You always don't know if he knows or not, you know? He's, that's the, it's like the most imposing villain ever. Gnädiges Fräulein, dürfte ich Sie unter vier Augen sprechen? Natürlich, gell. Scusi, you're not. I'm leaving him alone. Shoot. He doesn't even know what they said. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like him just at like a regular party. Yeah, and you got ditched. Lassen Sie mich Ihren Fuß sehen. Bitte? It's over. Legen Sie Ihren Fuß auf mein Schoß. Hans, Sie bringen mich in Verlegenheit. Did they do anything to her foot to cover it up? You know? They like break it, actually? See, looking at the shoe. Würden Sie bitte in die rechte untere Innentasche meines Mantels greifen? Oh, no, he's gonna try it on. Dude, he put his coat on the back of it. Like, this is all, like, part of it. He knows, bro. He knows already. He's just... Because, it's like, it's, it's already obvious enough. Yeah. She knows now. She knows he knows. Yeah. But he just, he just wants to go He just wants to toy it. with her. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Puffy. Hmm. What's that American expression? If the shoe fits, you must wear it. Uh, hmm. Jetzt, oh, was? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, she died trying. The cat invites is smoking. Yeah, I mean, hopefully... Oh, no. He just broke character. Shoot, he's not even here yet. No, of course uh, not. They, they've already foiled the whole plan. Got you flinching. Oh! <laughs> the way he says it too. Touch me again, crowd burger. <laughs> he says it's so like casual or something. You the bitch. Is that you, Lieutenant? What happened to Donnie? Omar? The woman? No, I do not. Gosh darn it. But it's like he knows about the other two, I would assume, since he saw him with them. Yeah, he has to know. So then why did he leave them? Or where are they if he didn't leave yeah, them? Yeah, I, I was thinking like that there's no way he would leave them, right? Tell me, <laughs> Alder, if I were sitting where you're sitting, would you show me mercy? Nope. Mm -hmm. What is that English expression about shoes and feet? Looks like the shoes on the other foot. Yeah, I'm just thinking of that. <laughs> so you're the Jew hunter. I'm a detective. Finding people is my specialty. Some of them were Jews, but Jew hunter? Just a name that stuck. Hmm. See, he is. He's yeah. not like part of the cult, no. you know? He like no. does He like does his work. 
and he likes his work. Yeah, it just happens to be like when you purchase friends like Bridget von Hammersmark, you get what you pay for. Hmm. As of this moment, both Omar and Donowitz should be sitting in Why? the very seats we left them in. Your mission, as of this moment, is still a go. Is he like? All I have to do is pick up this phone is he right looking here, for something inform else? the cinema, and your plans kaput. Maybe. Yeah, he might be. You won't get Hitler. You won't get Goebbels. You won't get any of the big people. Goering, sure. And you won't get Bauman. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need all four to end the war. But if I don't pick up this phone right here, you may very well get all four. That's true, I guess. All four, you end the war tonight. But what does he want? <laughs> Gentlemen, I have no intention of killing Hitler. Only later to find myself standing before a Jewish tribunal. If you want to win the war. He wants a pardon. We have to make a deal. Mm. So that he can, because he, yeah. maybe he knows that the war's not going well. Sure, I mean, right? Even Hitler was saying that. Look, and you wouldn't have the authority to make. OSS would be my guess. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. You just say bingo. <laughs> you know where I'm from? Yeah, where is that exactly? Manorville, Tennessee. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell. We hear a story too good to be true. It ain't. Every once in a while, fate reaches out and extends its hand. Yeah, I feel like he is being. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. Now, would they believe? But I feel like you got to take it, right? Because, like, what else are you going to do? You exactly. Know? I mean, I heck, this is such an opportunity. We must destroy that tower. There's no way that that was real. That's just complete propaganda. Wait, where's she taking off to? They're still continuing with their plan, I'm assuming. Oh, oh my what? gosh. <laughs> the yeah. Excuse me. That's the worst thing. I. That's so I might much. kill you for that, bro. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. I bet you that was during the climax of the movie too. I love seeing these little details about how like that works. In yeah. Way. And hopefully that holds. I'm a little worried because there's a lot of people in there. It will be recorded that I was part of Operation Kino from the very beginning as a double agent. Dang, he's completely having them erase. And it was my placement of Lieutenant Rain's dynamite in Hitler and Goebbels' opera box. I feel like you're going a little too much, like... I have the Führer informed that the public was taken. It should be here in a moment. Oh. Oh, he did do that. Wait, he did? Yeah. That last part's actually true. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I want to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. In fact, I want all the members of Operation Kino to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. I would like the United States of America to purchase property for me. You that like a prick. Why don't you just say I want to become the president of the United yeah, States? Yeah, like, you. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you face to face as well, sir. But I mean, of course they're going to do it. It's going to end the war. Yeah. Duh. Like. Yeah, I feel like anyone would do that. Yeah. Gosh, like, like okay, look, your editing kind of sucks too, dude. Not gonna I, lie. I'm gonna say right now, like, if it's just a movie of him killing 300 people, like, how long is that gonna take? <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. What if he just? Yeah. Hmm. I think he's literally going to see her. Yeah, he is. Qu'est-ce que vous faites ici? Je suis venu vous voir. Vous voyez pas que je suis occupé? Alors? Get out of here, quit flirting. No, you can't stay here. Now, allez vous en. Oh, jeez. Je ne suis pas un homme à qui on dit allez vous en. Yep. Jeez. Ah, vous me manquez de respect. Vous risquez ces péris. Fermez la porte. On n'a pas beaucoup de temps. Oh, oh, that's such a smart move. Oh. Oh, and there's all the gunfire in the oh, movie. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't hear. He better not be standing up or anything like that. Don't give me any of that. Good for her for thinking on her feet. That was, that was really, that was that, really that really was the only way to get out of it. <sighs> be careful. Come on, bro, you run a cinema. Have you ever seen a movie? I mean, it's understandable, bro. Like, oh. Yep. Well, like, they're like, I don't think she's being dumb. I think that's just. She's compassionate, maybe. Yeah, either compassionate or like, just human. Kill that guy. You got 30 feet to get to that guy. Oh my gosh. Bro, they're just straight trying to assassinate Hitler. Is this part of the original plan? Who knows? I know, was there even a plan, honestly, though? Probably not. <laughs> I can see 
shit. Chevalier. <laughs> Dang. Bro, you were aiming down. How'd you hit that guy? It's your best friend, this year. What? Oh, is there even get any, over yourself. Is there even any dialogue though? Like really? No. Right? No, it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm seeing oh, is just what? shooting people. <laughs> But, but wait. I thought you are all going to die. Ouch! Where you go? And I want you to look deep into the face of the Jew who is going to do it. do it in German, though. Like, they probably won't understand that much. Burn it down. That's sweet, sweet revenge if I've ever seen one. That was cool. That was a, it's a very theatrical, like, way to do it. Oh, nice! Oh. My name is Shoshana Dreyfus, and this is the face of Jewish <laughs> Dang. Watch out, don't die. <sighs> that's so cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa! That was a massive explosion. That's, that's one way to end the war. I'm officially surrendering myself over to you, Lieutenant Rain. Were you prisoners? He's so smug. <laughs> I, there's no yeah, way. I made a deal with you turtles for that man's life! Yeah, they made that deal, but they don't give a fuck about him. <laughs> You'll be shot for this? No, nah, I don't think so. More like chewed out. I've been chewed out before. <laughs> I imagine you won't take off that handsome looking SS uniform of yours. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a something you can't take off. <laughs> Yeah! Holy. I think this just might be my masterpiece. <laughs> Speaking of masterpieces, isn't that just amazing? Yeah. Yeah. I, that was a solid, that was a solid, uh, like, it definitely was not what I expected. No? What did you expect? Well, as far, like more of like a about war film, war movies, like, a, right? like a traditional. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about like, yeah, you know how they that's are. Fair, right? That's fair. That's um, fair. But this is very, very not. It's hard to even call it a war movie. It's just a Quentin Tarantino movie. Is what yeah, it is, I guess so. Yeah, it's very. Uh, it's got its own spads, you know, that it's going. Yeah. Going with. No, I, I, I liked it. Um, I liked how I liked how much there was just quick death like there's just everywhere i like, like how much of not a happy ending it is bro like like most of the people die now obviously they win the war but still yeah. I, I like how it's not just like oh look at all the good guys it's like did two characters survive yeah and Maybe the main four. baddie survived right yeah he did which i i was surprised i thought that he was gonna die okay wasn't wasn't christoph waltz amazing no. as as oh yeah, yeah yeah no yeah yes like he's so menacing in this like freaky sort of way yeah um he fits that that type of character very well mm -hmm. you know and so i think that this is just perfect for him yeah um yeah 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 i i like the very over the top feel of all of it oh know? yeah that's just and that's just Tarantino. it's very different um, yeah and it it's weird because it adds a little bit of like a even though it's it's very strange even though it's very dark um, and there's a lot of topics covered that are like serious in mm -hmm. nature. He's able to weirdly make it not as it's like weirdly funny. Depressing. It's it's like this it's weird strange. dark comedy. Like yeah, like there were times where I was laughing, like the dumb Goebbels moment where he's like crying because Hitler complimented him. Like what what are you doing, bro? Like who comes up with that? And I mean that in a good way. It's it's so f like weirdly funny it feels very yeah like whimsical at times it's like, like feels like sadistic it's like it's like oh this is so funny and it's like it is but yeah 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 but i'm also it's interesting that they uh they portrayed the good guys as like you know brutal and also kind of i mean they're basically bad you know at times no yeah and yeah, so this that's, is anti-hero at best um that's very interesting yeah um and the fact that you know Tons of people died like very quickly. I thought was I don't know. It's a nice it's a it's a nice change of pace because like you know usually you're expecting certain characters and stuff to survive at least for 
um, a decent amount of time. Like the one British uh, special forces guy. Oh yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Like he Which dude, he went quick. out like a legend. I I, I love that scene. That yeah. scene is so well acted and shot and like what a way to go out yeah and i think what they they also did was was like i think one of the the running things was like almost if you have humanity in you you just lose that's all you know any bit of humanity you have is you're not surviving yeah and the people who survived were like the more brutal guys that's true in a way you know and so that's how it is i mean it's in a way it's interesting how how they kind of like show that and, and i i think it's interesting the shades of of evil so to speak that he shows with the germans too where it's like mm-hmm. it's, especially because he's kind of going with this over-the-top vibe it's like all right we got like hitler like maniacally laughing and like like just so even the way that is shot sometimes and stuff like that but then like like different things that he does with like the the guy who they make the i don't even remember his name the guy they made the movie about where it's kind of like this this guy like like maybe a decent right. person and then well, like, like okay yeah, you see relatively the end. speaking relatively he- speaking then you see like the end there and it's like okay the true colors and so uh, the dad, yeah. the dad whose son like was just born, like, and I like, I think it's very interesting how, I don't know how seriously or not seriously Tarantino was trying to do it, but he does explore like shades yeah, of evil, so to speak. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't even go as far as to call it shades of evil. Like, it's almost just like what side you're on. That's true. In perspective and things like that. Right. I mean, obviously the SS guys, like, you know, they're them doing their thing. Like, yeah, you can, you can kind of paint it a different, a different way, but as far as like you know, like even like the soldiers like at the bar and things like that, it's it's very difficult mm-hmm. to kind of like generalize. Even though that's very easy to do, and no one would blame you for it, mm-hmm. I I usually don't take that route. Um, and so, but I, I, like, I that. like that it, it they do they do allow for a little more. And that's not even the point of the movie, really. I feel now nah, the point of the movie, um, I feel like Loki is kind of just like, ah, don't we all wish this is what happened a little bit? Yeah, it's very. <laughs> Like it's like living out a fantasy a little bit. Yeah, in a way, in a way, it kind of is because I would say that. But then, like, heck, like a lot of the good guys just died, you know. Which is, yeah. So it's it's interesting. It's a very interesting feeling movie because it it doesn't have like a completely. It's not like oh yes, you know, the Americans destroyed them and like yeah, look at that. It's almost like yeah, kind of, but also like not really. Yeah, like it's not like a great. Like, you know, the freaking main dude that was like horrific ended up living out, I'd think, a very good life, you know, regardless. He just of wears a lot of hats. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then like only two of our guys survived. So it's like it's hard to say where the movie kind of like stands, you know, w- which is interesting. Yeah, I-, I like it. It gives a very, very different feel. The dark sort of like comedy shade. Uh, that's that it's very got going. Um, Yeah. I, I mean, just the music choices, the filmmaking choices are incredible. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, for sure. And then think the editing and things. Yeah. Like, obviously, um, you know, I haven't watched a ton of Tarantino or anything. We just watched that one. But like um, it just it rises above immediately. It's and it's very, not even to rip on the other movies. You know, it's just yeah, but like no, no, we no. watch a ton of movies a week. And you watch something like this now, especially now that, that we've done this for a while, like consistently. Because mm-hmm. I haven't always done that. You just kind of watch, oh, I'm interested in this movie. It's mm-hmm. it's you're kind of like, yeah, the man's a genius. It, oh, this yeah. is so well made. No, for sure. For sure. Um and I like the fact that it's kind of like the same with animation. Like, I like when you can tell, like, this is this guy. I can tell. Yeah. By his work, you know? Yeah. And with, I feel like with Tarantino, that's so easy. Oh, like, every, <laughs> dude, dude, you can show me font and I'm like, oh, that's a Tarantino movie. Straight yeah. up. And it's not because I'm a nerd. It's because it's just like, it's just him, man. Okay. It, well, I can't do that. <laughs> but after a while, you will. Hopefully. No, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's. It's interesting. I, I I definitely am interested in uh, Tarantino's. He's an he's an works. interesting dude. <laughs> he's an interesting guy. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Let us know what you guys want us to to watch next. I I'm currently trying to find Kill Bill because it's not online anywhere. So that'll be interesting. Um. Okay. But but let us know what other movies you guys want us to watch. Uh, as always, full length rashes up with the Patreon. The next week's reaction. This movie here is up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. Uh, Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.